Greetings, Earthman, Origami's Living Soil, Servant of God, here to give you the best advice that I have given to me by God. Um, I am His humble soil servant, I guess you can say. And um, that's what it's about living soil, uh, making good product, proper genetics in a, your plant that you grow, and, uh, and many other things. But living soil is number one. So what we have here are some tomatoes that I have gotten out of a surprise pack from Etsy. And it, man, it's just like a, like a mix between a, a peach and a nectarine type thing. Um, you cut it open and it has this little red thing in there like a peach around the pit. And it tastes absolutely sweet and delicious. Some are shaped like this, like a nectarine. And then some are shaped like, like a little mini tomato there um, well, like that I guess you can say so what I'm doing is I cut in half and then I squeeze the seeds out scoop out the pulp and everything else and I already started I put I felt well, that will probably fill up about a quarter away when I'm done here with these tomatoes I don't add any extra water just the juice itself a little juice you got in the pulp and then you let that sit covered up. I covered up a little aluminum. Let it sit for a couple days, maybe three, four at the most, when to a white mycocillin uh, comes on the top, and then they're ready. Uh, it's important to ferment your seeds before you do anything with them. Um, so then I rinse them, rinse them, rinse them, soak them, rinse them until I get them all the pulp and stuff off of them, and then I dry them off a little bit on paper towels, transfer them. To wax paper because you do not want them drying on paper towels because uh, they will stick bad to a paper towel wax paper is the best and then I just let them air dry and I spread them out as they go the ones that did stick together here I have um, a pink um, pink bumblebee cherry tomato here uh, a purple bumblebee cherry tomato over there I got a beef steak really all really well producing plants beautiful tomatoes vigorous growth um, they're worth saving and this is too so like it uh, you know like I said I'm gonna squeeze out everything put it in a cup uh, cover it three days later mycocillin you rinse those off soak them rinse them until you get all the pulp uh, it's good to have a strainer that's very small so you don't lose any seeds to it and uh, there you go uh, beautiful tomato I'm gonna keep saving these seeds uh, I've maybe a few more tomatoes I want to get a lot of these and uh, just a uh, beautiful plant, tasty tomato, grew really fast, and tomatoes really quick. And um, yep, and that is God in action. God is good every day, 24-7. Thank you, Jesus. And so um, you have a great day. May your plants bless you and give glory to God.